What's going on everyone? Thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. So this video isn't planned. I had no idea that I was gonna do this. I was actually just taking pictures right now and I was like, you know what? I kinda just wanna talk to everyone how I'm feeling just a couple days out from my competition. So my competition's on Sunday and by the time this video comes out, it's gonna be Saturday. So that means my competition's tomorrow. Um, so I'm pretty excited and I'm, I'm nervous. I'm, I'm pretty nervous. I have no idea why. I just wanna get on the platform and I want to lift and I wanna hit some numbers, and if I don't, then who cares? I always have another competition. This isn't gonna be my last competition, but I, I'm pretty nervous for some reason. I have no idea why, probably because there's gonna be a lot of people. This is gonna be a very big competition, but I'm also excited because I'm gonna be competing with the team for the very first time. My first competition, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. Um, then now I'm competing with my brother, now I have a team, people are gonna be handling me, they're gonna tell me what numbers I'm gonna be hitting. Um, but I'm, I'm nervous for, the fact that I've been training, you know, at a sub, you know, level of weight. So I haven't really tried to lift very, very, very heavy, like all I can give in quite a while. So that's probably why I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm so excited because I know my strength has increased significantly since my last competition. And I want to show you all the progression that I have from my last meet to this meet. And there's probably gonna be another video for this um, just to show, you know, that versus now, then versus now, past versus present. You know what I mean? But a little nervous, I'm excited. I'm gonna be with my brother. I'm gonna have my girlfriend there. I'm gonna have my cousin there. Um, Nick Wright's supposed to be there, which is gonna be pretty cool. He's from Rhode Island, but I kinda just wanted to make this video so I can kinda talk to you all. I mean, this is kinda me just talking and I mean, if you don't find this video interesting, then you can just click away. But I kinda just wanted to talk to you all about how I'm feeling and not only that, but the reason why I started YouTube and why I'm doing this, why I'm competing, and why I chose powerlifting. I first started YouTube because I wanted to share, I wanted to share my story with others, just people that I know. I wanted to show to others that you can lose weight. I mean, I started losing weight when I was a sophomore or junior in high school. No, I was a junior in high school, yeah. Going to my senior year. And coming back to senior year, I lost about 60 pounds and people were like, holy crap, Eric, what happened? And what happened was, what had happened was I worked out every single day with my brothers in the morning. We would do some like sort of high intensity track workout. And then after that, I would go work out in the afternoon. And you know, I started YouTube so I can show others what I did to lose the weight. And then after that, I mean, I fell in love with the editing and I was like, you know what? Like I want to do this. This is something that I could do for fun and just edit videos and make it look cool. And I've always had that, you know, editing sort of thing that I loved because I did that back in high school. So. I started YouTube because I wanted to show people that it was possible, that no matter what, even if you are a high school student who has a job and is playing football, you can lose weight. And I wanted to, you know, aim towards those people, you know, the people that think that, you know, I can't lose weight because I'm so busy doing this and I have that. And to those people who feel like they can't lose weight or do anything like that because they're so busy, those are the people that always make excuses and, you know, find any other way to make sure that they don't lose weight because if you really want it bad enough, you will go out of your way. You will make time if you don't have time to lose weight. But if you're that person who's gonna be like, yeah, I can't do anything because you know I have work, I work like 40 hours a week, I have no time to go to the gym, then you know what, you're not gonna see results and you're not gonna lose weight and who are you to complain if you don't see results? I mean, it's your fault because you most likely are too lazy to make time for the gym because time is manageable. You do have time. That time that you're probably watching an hour of TV and watching The X Factor, you could probably be losing weight or doing some sort of exercise. All it takes is about half an hour of just moderate intensity exercise to lose weight for five days a week. That's 150 minutes, or you can do 75 minutes of vigorous activity. There's some people who will make the most excuses and they won't see results, and that's because you know they make excuses. But for those of you who are struggling to lose weight, I just want to tell you that it is possible. I mean, after losing 125 pounds, my lowest weight was 183 pounds. Now I'm 203, 205 pounds. So I gained about 20 pounds back, but that's me feeling comfortable in my own skin. I got to 183 pounds because I was like, you know what, I want to lose 125 pounds just to say I did. But I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel strong. I didn't feel the way that I should feel, you know? So I lost weight, made a YouTube channel, fell in love with the editing, and then 
here I am now, you know, I was able to get contacted by Polar Tech and they asked me to do a workout at Fenway Park and also go to the, the jump, the big air event that they have there, the jumping event that, with the skis and whatnot. And that's all because I put the time and effort into editing. I have two jobs right now. I'm taking two online courses. I took one in-class course. I have online clients. I have so many things going on, but I do find the time to manage it and make YouTube videos. And I feel like so many people make excuses and it's just so frustrating. So my biggest piece of advice is to basically just manage your time, make sure that you're able to have a good time while you're also doing it. Because if you're so stressed out then you're not gonna benefit from anything that you're doing. It's gonna be like, you're just wasting your time. So find a balance, find that equilibrium. Do something that you love to do, find your hobby. And if exercise isn't something that you're willing to do to lose weight, then that is part of the journey. You have to eat right, you have to exercise, but it's possible. There's so many different things that you can do in your life to help you lose weight. So this is just me talking to you all. I mean, I kind of just wanted to ramble off, but I had a pretty long day. And you know, I just want to talk to you all about how I'm feeling before this meet, I'm nervous, excited. Also wanted to talk about why I started YouTube, my weight loss and whatnot, but weight loss isn't easy. Weight loss is not easy but those who really want it bad enough will get it. And those of you who want to live a healthier lifestyle will get it. That's all I have for today's video, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. It does mean so much to me. Tomorrow's my competition. I'm excited, I'm nervous. I'm so pumped up to get on the platform. So please comment, share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up the video because it does help out a lot. And don't forget to stay healthy, everyone. Eric Mandeville, I'm commanding all them motherfuckers out there to watch your shit. Yeah, I'm here with Eric Mandeville, the man, the motherfucker himself. <laughs>